Captain Titus, the Orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. And they have taken the planetary defense weapons. Clever of the damned Orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machines. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Pilot, report. Starboard engine is dead, Sergeant. We are losing altitude. Get the ship to safety. We find another way down. Aye, Captain. This is your plan. We need to get to the surface to take out the gun battle. Would you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the Orcs. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep up.
Captain Titus, come in. Damned orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up Vox chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought anyone would be left alive, much less still fighting. Heading towards the front lines now. I will meet you there. into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I look to its rules for guidance. We all do. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself, Codex. Sedona's picked up local Imperial Guard communications. They survived under the shadow of that gun. I want to know how. My lord. You have saved us. Rise, guardsmen. You saved yourselves. We thought you dead. We would be, my lord, if not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, guardsmen. We rendezvous with Sedonus, then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. Through here, my lords. Head out the upper level and continue through the plaza. The bunker is beyond that. Remarkable. A few hundred against a million orcs. What? They fight on. No. Only in death. Get off! My legs. <laughs> Sergeant, I see you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. The orcs have got that gun well defended, no mistake. But typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun. And certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind it. Their leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. I may have encountered the orc during our jump to the surface. That was the orc ship I saw crash near here, I take it. Did he survive? If the Horde hasn't turned on itself, it's still under his control. Target that squig! <laughs> Where's your commander, Guardsman? Inside, the door is sealed. I believe they will let us through. Imperial Guard, we are Ultramarines. Open this door. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts have returned to forward base. How many? Two. Damn. I sent out ten. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. And that is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me, then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. What do you know of the Titans on this planet? Only that our troops were sent to guard the Titan Invictus at Manufactorum Ajakis. That was two weeks ago, and we've lost contact. We need to reach that Titan. Your fastest route is across the rail bridge behind the gun complex. It leads directly to the western gates of the Manufactorum. The Orcs 
hold the trenches beyond the ruins and the battlements beyond that. And the gun battery? The Orcs took it almost as soon as we got here, nearly two weeks ago. Our unit was the only one to make landfall before they gained control. Now none of our ships can get past the gun. That's where the Orcs breached the gun battery. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. There just aren't enough of us. You have survived this long on your own, Lieutenant. You have done well, but you are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. You will get your reinforcements. I'll hold you to that. Once we get through these battlements, we will use the breach caused by the rock to enter the gun fortress. Ben. Look here, Captain. Melter charges. Put those in the right place, and this whole fortress will come down. We could put the charge on one of the gun shells. Leandros, you do the chapter proud. There. I will place the charge on that shell. Now to move the shell into place. All loaded. With luck, the orcs will feed it right into the gun's chamber. We cannot rely on luck for this, Sir Dunnas. We follow the shell up and make sure it reaches its destination. Aye. Now back to the lift. Orcs have pulled it out of sequence. Then we put it back. Leandros, get the shell into that loader. I will cover you. Situation, Lieutenant. We're gathering our wounded and are heading to the Andrus habitation block to establish an outpost. With the cannon down, our support craft will land there. Very well. My battle brothers and I must secure any operational Warlord class Titans before the Orcs can loot them. Good luck. Now that bridge is a testament to the might of the Imperium. The Adeptus Mechanicus are masterful architects. Their work outlived all of them. What in Quilliman's name is that? Did the lieutenant not say these tracks went to the complex housing the Titans? That thing is a battering ram. Now to stop this ram. Time to impact. No more than six minutes. Time enough. The Manufactorum still holds. Some Imperial Guard units made it here after all. They cannot hold for long. We must hurry. What is that servo skull doing? Trying to deliver a message. Must be damaged. The seal of the Inquisition. Interesting. What is the Inquisition doing here? We're about to find out. This is Inquisitor Drogon. I need urgent assistance at Manufactor and the Jackets. They're after the experimental device. The device is safe for the time being. I've drawn them off. But now I'm trapped. If I die, you 
must keep the device out of enemy hands. Or he'll be unstoppable. I needed more time. Experimental weapon. We need to find the Inquisitor before the Orcs do. Keep moving. Remain alert. Captain, look! The Orcs must be operating that crane. They will not stop until they break through that gate. We must disable that crane. The Orcs have managed to power that cannon. Even a single shot will blast right through the gates. We cannot allow that. This is Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. Identify yourself. This is Corporal Antioch, sir. Uh, that is, my lord. I need access to the Manufactorum, Corporal. There is a service lift in the hangar directly below where you drop the cargo, my lord. We can meet you there. Stand ready. We will be there shortly. Titus out. A handful of guardsmen holding that huge gate. They cannot last long. I did manage to bring the access bridge down. Robbing the orcs of it's their advantage in numbers. My lords, you must hurry. The greenskins are on the move again. If they find the access point we are using, oh, you we will go Corporal Antioch, we are in position. Excellent, Captain. I'm sending the lift up now. Corporal Antioch? Yes, my lord. We have word that an Inquisitor is in the Manufactorum. Yes, Lord Drogon. We have not seen him for several days. Has the Liberation Fleet arrived, my lord? The fleet is still en route, Corporal. The Ultramarines are here as a vanguard, to cripple the enemy and secure the most valuable assets. I see. But the facility and its titans remain secure. All I can say for certain is that no orc has breached this gate, my lord. Contact Lieutenant Mira. Her unit is establishing a bastion in Hab Center Andres and your support craft now have a viable approach from orbit. What of the Colonel and his staff? They did not survive. At last, a place the Orcs have not stained. For now, I doubt even dropping that cannon on them will convince Orcs to back away. Indeed, we must find this Inquisitor and the Titan Invictus. Titan Invictus seems undamaged at least. Titan Invictus seems unused, you mean? Is this invasion not enough to bring out the War Titans? It takes hundreds to get a War Titan operational, Sergeant. Without them, it sits idle. Captain, this is an auger station. I can scan for the Inquisitor's life signs. Access authorized. There. A lone human. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Ordo Xenos. He's in this wing of the Manufactorum. I read alien signals throughout the facility, and a large number converging on the Inquisitor's location. Leandros, can you use this panel to contact our other forces? Not directly, but I can boost Vox range. Do it. Access authorized. Ultramarines chapter. Here, Captain. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Are you receiving? Captain, this is Sergeant Midas. Squad Solidus is on the ground and making for our objective. New orders, Midas. We are at Manufactorum Ajakis and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solinus to come secure the Invictus while I divert to a priority alarm. On our way, Captain. Midas out. Inquisitor Drogon? I am Drogon. And you are... Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. We received your distress call, but you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I am soldier and scientist, both, Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? The power source is running the entire Manufactorum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon? It is a complex device and an unstable one. If the Orcs find it, they'll try and take it apart. 
It could detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. Then we must move it to safety. And for that, Captain, I need your aid. This way. You are wounded, Inquisitor Drogon. I'm a Psyker. My psychic abilities are controlling the bleeding. Very well. Thanks. Uh, Space You try to steal my titans? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! Uh! The Orc... Aye. Uh, the Orc has a scent for us now. Damnable creature! Had he not blundered onto this world? But he did, Drogon. My boys want to give you a proper greeting! How much deeper does this facility go? The Manufactorum? Far deeper. The whole generator room is actually suspended above a venting shaft. Suspended? Yes. In case of catastrophic overload, the whole room can be shunted away into the depths. Ah, yes, here we are. Colder than a space with smile in here. Yes, a byproduct of the device's functioning. Captain Titus, proceed into the main chamber. We need only obtain the power source at the core of the generator. I will initiate decoupling from a control console. Understood. Brothers, guard the access points. I have engaged the decoupling sequence, Captain. You must keep the chamber secure until the power source is exposed. There. The primary shield is open, Captain. Head into the central chamber. Captain, the war boss. This fight's marine! Why are you hiding down here? Whatever it is, no one Don't get it, Hold back the green skins, Captain. The power source will be free of the generator shortly. Show them Now, head over to the Servitor station and activate it. It will retrieve the power source and get it into its canister. This sparky thing what you want, Space Marine? Then I'll take it for myself! That damn orc will kill us all. Rabbit Captain, force the power source into his canister. Quickly! Space Marine! <laughs> Sidonus, Leandros, respond. Captain, the Inquisitor insisted you could not have survived. Well, I did, and I have his precious power source. We set a rendezvous in Hap Center Andris. These tunnels will spit us out there eventually. Fine. Continue heading toward the Hab Center. Captain Titus. Well met, brothers. Any idea of our position? We should be nearing an access point to the surface. The air smells a bit cleaner. I've had enough of tunnels. Let's get out of here and find the Inquisitor before the Orcs do. Not much tidier than below. But at least we have the sky over our heads again. Our rendezvous point is this way. What could the Orcs hope to gain by slaughtering so many? So terror, demoralize the militia. Cruel, but effective. This was no strategy of war. For Orcs, this was sport.
millions more of them. Our plan is unchanged. Get the Inquisitor and the power source off-world. Titus, if they take over the Manufactorum, we will have a damnable time getting them out. We are Ultramarines. Orcs are not a problem. If we had a week, perhaps. But by then, the Orcs will have worked out how to dismantle the Titans. Inquisitor Drogon, we need to get you off planet before we're overrun by orcs. You were exposed to the unshielded power source. In the generator room, I saw it. You held raw energy from the warp. How are you still alive? The power source conducts warp energies. The stuff of chaos. Heresy. My work against the Xenos has the Imperium's blessing. Can your blessed work help us against the Orcs? My research is of the utmost secrecy. The Imperium forbids its use without sanction. Consider that your Imperial sanction. Very well. The power source fuels an experimental weapon at my research facility, the Psychic Scourge. It could destroy the Orcs. You didn't think to bring up this Scourge weapon before. The Psychic Scourge has never been test-fired, Sergeant. If it malfunctions, it could crack this planet in half. We're out of options. We fire the weapon and take our chances. The Psychic Scourge is at the Calchis facility, my research laboratories. It is a fair distance. We will need transportation. Captain, we aren't far from the plaza where Lieutenant Mira was headed, the Imperial Guard rally point. They will have Valkyries. We can fly to the research facility. Let's find this Imperial Guard outpost. Your wound is slowing us down. I can manage. Brothers, take him to the Valkyries. I will draw the orcs off and meet you there. Give the power source to the sergeant then, Captain. No, Drogon. The orc chieftain wanted the power source. When his orcs see I possess it, not you, they will follow me. Move out. My lord, we owe you our lives. I am an instrument of the Emperor's will. <laughs> Now indicate to me the nearest concentration of orcs. Aye, my lord. Master's plaza is just past this hab complex. It is swarming with the beasts. Not for long. This is Primus Command. Orcs inside the perimeter. Move to secondary defense positions and hold the line. Welcome to Bastion Primus, Captain. Sergeant Sedonis briefed me about the Inquisitor and his doomsday weapon. He said you require air transport to the Calchis facility. Your Valkyries are the fastest way to reach it, and we have no time to spare. Your men are already on board their Valkyrie, and the squadron's ready for liftoff. We'll get you to Calchis with all speed. It's time the Imperial Guard brought the fight to the Orcs.
going for Valkyrie 3. And 6. Keep us in position, brother. Come in, Lieutenant. Space Valkyrie Marine. 2 is down. I require immediate transport. We're on approach, Captain. Valkyrie on approach. What is the Inquisitor's status? The remainder of the squadron has escorted his craft to the outskirts of the Calchas facility. Very good. Thank you. And good luck, Lieutenant. Where is it? The device is secure, Drogon. What are you waiting for, then? Further delay is intolerable. Inquisitor, are you all right? Yes. Come. We've no time to waste. Inquisitor, can we get around the bulk of these orcs? Yes, perhaps. My research produces a minimal waste, so the facility's sluiceways should be accessible. Lead the way. Captain, my servitors were destroyed in the initial attack. I may need your help to activate the Psychic Scourge. How large is the weapon? The firing mechanism is at my research lab, but the energy pulse itself travels along conduits from the lab to the orbital spire. There. We will proceed through that door. I need time to override the lock, Captain. Understood, Inquisitor. I thought the Spire to be a ground-to-space transporter. It is. With a few modifications, it also makes an ideal firing tower. The energy pulse should not damage the Spire. You do not sound confident. Improvisation and experimentation go hand in hand. These pipes lead into the facility's sub-basements. And here is our entrance. What can we expect inside, Inquisitor? Oh yes, just a few defenses. What comprises a few, Inquisitor? Servo turrets, mostly. Set to eliminate orcs? Set to eliminate anything with the misfortune to move within their range. No way to move quickly with these guns everywhere. We need to shut them all down. Now, I can do that from the central security room. Then that is where we are headed. Ultramarines. The logic engine thinks we are escaped Xenos specimens. There is a control panel in the side room. Get me there, and I can shut it down. Authorization recognized. The exit will open shortly, Captain. However, I'm afraid the servo turrets beyond this room remain primed. What is kept in these containers? Specimens needed for my research. Specimens, cages, operating theatres. This place reeks of Xenos filth. That is the business of the Inquisition, Ultramarines. The firing core is still active. Excellent. If this is the firing core, Inquisitor, does it discharge through the whole facility? No, not precisely. The core actually raises to the rooftop of the facility. That is where the rest of the firing array is located. 
There. The command room is beyond those doors. And those sentry guns. Ah, very good. All the security measures will be down shortly, Captain. I'm afraid they were the only thing keeping the orcs outside, however. But you will be able to fire the weapon. Indeed. We had better do so quickly. This place will be awash with orcs before long. Of course. Security systems disabled. Authorization recognized. Releasing safeguards. Place the canister into its cradle inside the power core, Captain. Do we risk exposure again? Only if you drop the canister. Your time carrying my power source is finally at an end. Damnable thing! What do you need me to do, Inquisitor? You will need to manually restart the array alignment. Forcibly, if you must. Where? In the firing chamber. Board the lift, Ultramarines. Captain, you must hurry. The damned orcs have cut the main conduits to the firing tower. You must reconnect the conduits, Captain, or we're facing an overload that will rip this planet apart. Understood. Psychic surge firing sequence commencing. Inquisitor, the conduits are reconnected. Now, proceed to the main control panel. Firing. Now. Look at the spire. I've been looking for you, Space Marine. You got something of mine. Why didn't it work? Damn that Drogon! Never trust the Inquisition! Stand fast, Ultramarines. We can handle a few orcs. Space Marine! Was that supposed to hurt? <laughs> Inquisitor! Get back! How heroic. Drogon! served you well, Lord Nimrod. Traitor.
I see. My servant did all that I hoped and more. But he would never have succeeded without you, Captain Titus. Thanks to these brave space marines, we have broken through to this reality. The Blessed Gateway. You seem surprisingly able to resist my touch, Titus of the Ultramarines, and that of the war, which impressed my servant to no end. Ah, you think the Inquisitor a traitor, but Drogon has been dead since before you first met. You have been by my puppet of flesh and bone. Ah! Ah! I ain't so easy to kill. <laughs> Emperor, protect us. We need an exit. To the lift! Did that fiend speak truth? Did we cause a chaos invasion? Of course we did. His Inquisitor puppet manipulated us from the moment we met. And before. The false Inquisitor sent the distress call. I don't think so, Leandros. The man's urgency. His fear. I believe that was the real Drogon. Facing certain death. And it found him. But not at the Orc's hands. Somehow the Agents of Chaos were already here. That gate, it's getting bigger. If it gets much larger, Nemiroth can bring his fleet through. Then we must cut the link between Warp Gate and Tower. You have a plan. We use Invictus to sever the orbital spire. At that range, will the Titan's cannon be effective? It's time we use the power source to our advantage. To supercharge Invictus. We need to reach that Titan. So, a demon killed Inquisitor Drogon and then possessed his body. But why? Alone, there was no way the demon could get the power source past a million orcs. It needed help. And we obliged. I was deceived. I am responsible for chaos breaking through to this world. Captain. Duty requires that I put voice to my concerns. Speak, then. You held the unshielded power source again, Captain. And again, you emerged from the exposure unscathed. The Codex Astartes warns that those in league with Chaos can withstand the warp's touch. You forget yourself, Ultramarine. Leandros, I do not take this warp resistance lightly. But the search for answers must wait until after we deal with this chaos invasion. What if that is too late? Leandros, enough. We need to keep moving. Guardsmen, report. My lord, Space Marine. They were on us almost immediately. Lieutenant, Space Marines are here. Captain Titus, are you there? This is Lieutenant Mira. This whole planet has gone mad. The forces of chaos are invading this world. We must get to the Titan and destroy that warp gate. I know what route to take. I deployed troops to man outposts between the Calchas facility and Bastion Primus. From there, you can access the rail network and cross to Manufacturer Majakis. Understood. I will meet you there. How? How can we face them? The legions of chaos? Trooper, get yourself together right now! Yes, ma'am. The other platoons are going to fall back towards the Bastion. Hold this position, or they'll be cut off. Greetings, Ultramarines. What is your situation, Lieutenant? As well as can be hoped, considering we are surrounded on all sides by the enemy horde. We're heading back to the command post, Captain. Well met, Mira. Jonah, 
I half expected to find a demon chewing on your bones. Well, they'd spit me right out. Make your report, Jonah. The Greenskins have been pressing us hard, both down here and at the Bastion proper. Get ready to fall back to the Bastion. Do not engage Chaos forces directly until I get reinforcements down here to back you up. I left challenge. Lieutenant Mira, this is Bastion Primus. We're under heavy assault. The orcs are back. And they cut power to the sentry guns. All of them? They took out the generator. We couldn't defend it against such numbers. We had to fall back. The Ultramarines and I are almost at your position. Mira out. Imperial Guard! Stand your ground! The Ultramarines are here! You are mine, Lieutenant! You can see why we need the sentry guns. There aren't enough of us to hold this position without them. Lieutenant, the central outpost is under attack! Tell them we're on our way! Move out, brothers. We need those sentry guns. Lieutenant, where is the generator? If you continue on, you'll find it at the end of the investigation. Brothers, the guardsmen will need your help until the guns are reactivated. We will hold the line, Captain. Titus, we are running into orcs down here. Nothing like above, though. Just enough to be an annoyance. We will be there soon. Understood. for long enough, Orc. This ends now. That's right! Cause I'm gonna kill you, Space Marine! Ah! That does it, Space Marine! I'm gonna piss off your head and paint these walls with your blood. Yeah. Why you kill me so back. much trouble, Space yeah. Marine? Space Marine! with you. Orc. Captain! The damned Orc is dead. Finally. Some good news. This rail line will take us directly to the Titan Manufactorum. The faster the better. Those Orcs slowed us down. And gave Nemiroth time to prepare his invasion. We must get to the Titan and destroy that warp gate. Titus, the orcs are running scared. What's happened? 
The captain dealt with their war boss once and for all. We have a chance now. Bolster your defenses. The demon host will not be so easy to frighten off. Good luck, Titus. All our hopes are with you. Ultramarines, this is Princeps Enoch aboard Titan Invictus. This is Captain Titus. What is the status of the Titan? My crew and I are aboard Invictus, but she's immobilized. You will need to activate our Earth's backup generator to release the mooring clamps. Understood. Understood. I will feed you to the dark gods myself, Ultramarine. Return! Fire! Targets! Destroy them! You and the Andros get the doors to the Manufactorum open. Understood, Captain. Enoch, I have Inquisitor Drogon's power source with me. We must use it to supercharge your weaponry. The power source? The rights involved in using it safely? Only the High Fabricator himself? Unless we act now, an entire Chaos fleet will hang over your Forge world. Understood. Mooring clamps released. Invictus powering up now. My battle brothers will have the gates open shortly. Maneuver Invictus close to the topmost gantries. I'm coming aboard. Yes, Captain. Enoch, I have a target for you. The orbital spire. The spire? But Captain, it is a masterwork of the machine yard. It is feeding energy into the warp gate above it. If we are to stop this invasion, the spire must fall. I understand. Must I bring the power source? Travel across the armature to the starboard side, Captain. I will open a maintenance apps for the volcano cannon. Protocol suspended. Access authorized. The apps is below you, Captain. Leap down to the walkways around the volcano cannon, Captain. Orbital Spire. Target acquired. Firing now. Alarm. Ejecting power core. Shutting down all systems. Captain, all systems are overloading. Did it work? Invictus performed admirably, Enoch. The warp gate is closing. Thank the machine god. Shutting down all systems. That's done, Titus. But Nemeroth and his demon hosts still roam free. Though he is trapped on this world. And all the more desperate to recover the power source. We must get it to safety, old friend. Good news on that front. Lieutenant Mira reports that the Liberation Fleet has entered the system. The Inquisition will surely have sent agents with the fleet, Captain. Perhaps we can return the device to them. The Inquisition has already failed to stop its exploitation by Chaos. No one must use the device, the Andros, ever again. Contact Lieutenant Mira, and have her divert a Valkyrie here to pick us up. Yes, Captain. I suppose putting a bolt around through that damnable power source is out of the question. Too risky. We could open another warp gate, for all we know. Upon our return to McCrag, I will confide it to the Chapter Master and his librarians. And until then? My most trusted brother will bring it to our strike cruiser and seal it in the armory. Get this damn thing secured, Sergeant. As quickly as I can. <laughs> what will you?
you be doing while I run this little errand? There are still thousands of traitors and heretics on this world. I intend to drastically thin their ranks. Lieutenant Mira's Valkyrie is on its way, Captain. Excellent. We make for the landing pad. And watch for the Chaos Lord's forces. There! Retrieve the warp device! Sidonus, get to the landing pad. Aye, Captain. These traitors are determined, and this landing pad does not offer much cover. You will die! the key to my evolution, to my ascension, to immortal demonhood. My armies will spill humanity's blood across the stars. You continue to resist my touch. Only a deep connection to the world can explain this. Joining us soon, brother. I couldn't reach him in time. Sidonus died as we all should. Righteous battle. Do not give in to grief, Leandros. Turn your thoughts to vengeance. Nemeroth will pay in blood. Mira here. Valkyrie on approach. Captain Titus, we're ready to transport you. The sergeant. The traitor lord murdered him. Nemeroth killed Sidonus for the power source. You said the Inquisitor's work was heretical, Leandros. You are right. What do you mean? Nemeroth plans to use the power source to trigger his transformation into a demon prince. Abomination! How can we stand against such a creature? I will kill Nemeroth when he's most vulnerable. During the transformation. Safeguard Sidonus until the Apothecary arrives. Then join the Imperial attack. Going alone is suicide. Or worse, we know the enemy takes great interest in your connection to Chaos. Do you fear my falling to Chaos? Of course not. Whatever lies behind your resistance, it can only be to the enemy's favor. Why? Perhaps this resistance can get you close enough for a killing blow. I will destroy Nemroth with skill and steel, or die trying. If this resistance comes into play during battle, so be it. So be it. I must reach the orbital spire. Farewell, Captain. 
stench of aliens permeates this facility, but it is tolerable because it represents progress. I acquired specimens for experimentation. Orc, Tau, Eldar. Even a Tyranid Lictor, which nearly caused a revolt among my tech priest allies. I designed the weapon to use the warp energies to target the weak points in the Xenos brain and rupture them. That is the tidy theory. When I put it into practice, however, the specimen's head explodes. Distasteful, but effective. The weapon works. Captain Titus, the Liberation Fleet is in orbit. Fresh troops are landing, preparing to assault the orbital spire. It may be severed, but it's still the enemy's strong point. The fleet is preparing an all-out assault. Their attack will not be enough to stop the forces of chaos. I know. Good luck, Titus. The warp device. Where is it? Safe from you, demon. You will tell me after you're dead. <laughs> Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Captain Titus, Thunderhawk Lance of Jove is at your disposal, Captain. I must reach the orbital spire. Tell your pilot to make his approach. Yes, sir. Blood Raven Squad Corvus reporting in, Captain Titus. We joined the Liberation Fleet at Bakar, along with a squad of Black Templars. Unleash the fury you showed in the Aurelian Crusade, and we will be glad to have even a few Blood Ravens with us. You may rely on that, Captain. Then join the forces driving into the demon host, and stop any enemies trying to follow me up the orbital spire. Your hunt shall find us wanting, Ultramarine. Honor and glory, Blood Raven. Your orders, Captain. Destroy these Chaos forces. I must reach the orbital spire. Yes, sir. Captain Titus, Squad Solanus reporting in. Manufactorum Narses is secure. Very good. Your orders, Captain. Contain the Chaos threat here. Understood. Thunderhawk ready for transport, Captain Titus. I will need all your skill, pilot. I will take you into the Eye of Terror if you ask it, Captain. The Orbital Spire will do for today, brother. here as long as I can, Captain. No, brother. Rejoin our forces and bring fury to the enemy. This battle is mine alone. Yes, sir. I've encountered unexpected results. Warp energies affect different species in different ways. Essentially, I can tune this weapon to cause maximum damage to whatever enemy we face. If humans are caught in the blast wave, they will not be harmed. Good news, I suppose. I've not slept in two days. The more I use the warp device, the stronger the assault on my psychic shield. I need rest. Your brothers thought the same, yeah. traitor. Their corpses lie. Yeah. Yeah.
so close. But how can I get to? There is much blood in my hands, Nimrod, for all those you have killed. For Sidonus, and for the Emperor. I will finish this. Dread gods of chaos, I am Nemeroth, your herald and champion. I have burned a thousand worlds in your dark names. You challenged me to recover this fragment of your power, and I have done so. The slaves of the false emperor, who dared claim it as their own, lie dead at my hand. I return your dark relic to you. I offer up this world and all those upon it. I ask for the reward that was promised. You want to talk to your gods? I will send you to them. Admit it, Titus. The power of chaos is within you, calling to this relic. Imagine the Ultramarines dominating this galaxy in glorious conquest, with you at their head. Imagine the power. As a slave to chaos, nothing you say could tempt me from the path of honor, or from avenging the deaths of my battle brothers. You are no threat to me now, Ultramarine! Nothing can stop my ascension! Grant me your favor. Corrupt my flesh. Make me demon kind. Show this fool the true nature of power. Have you looked to the skies lately, Captain Titus? You opened a gateway to the Chaos Realm. Already our legions are pouring. The slave of the false emperor. I was trying to yeah. save this planet from the Lich. He ushered in. Your pathetic Imperial forces will be scoured clean from this world. Soon, my entire invasion fleet uh, we'll cross into this reality. Kill the Your task is hopeless, Tut. I have the will of the Dark Gods behind me. But you, you have no one. And you will die here, alone. Killing my servants matters little. I am unassailable. The gods of chaos protect me with the very energies of creation. You forget, Nemeroth. I am no stranger to the touch of the warp.
If it takes a thousand years, I will rise again and take my vengeance upon your flesh. <laughs> Look there, Ultramarine. You have saved this world. I see that Ultramarines are human, after all. More than you know, Lieutenant. Inquisition is here. His injuries appear chaos inflicted. You are certain of this charge? Captain Titus has been corrupted by chaos, Inquisitor Thrax. I am no heretic! You lie! Only an agent of chaos could withstand such warp exposure. I sent the demon to oblivion. But did you have unholy assistance? We must know. You will submit to my authority, Captain, or the Inquisition must conclude that you have corrupted every Ultramarine under your command. Not to mention those who stand at your side. Ignore his threats. Come on. The Inquisition will destroy you, Mira. And the Ultramarines will be forever dishonored. Leave my brothers and the Lieutenant alone. I will come with you. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Codex Astartes leaves no room for doubt. You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us, shape us as ultramarines, teach us to hold duty and honor sacred above all. 
But how we live with those rules is the true test of a space marine. And you have failed.